Hey, what's happening, buddy? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this video, I wanna show you how you can embed both a YouTube video, I have one on the right, and a locally hosted video, I have one on the left, and make it responsive using both React Bootstrap and the power of Get Bootstrap. And with that, let's get started. All right, once again, my name is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes, and this channel is all about helping you design more and to troubleshoot less. If that's what you're looking for online, then hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell so you never miss a video. All right, so a few housekeeping things before we begin. First, I am using the Gatsby default starter, which you kind of see here with Mr. Spaceman, and I've stripped it down to its bare essentials, and I've also installed React Bootstrap prior to this video. If you wanna know how to install it, well, I will link to it down below in the description of a video of how to install React Bootstrap in Gatsby. All right, so what we need to do is first bring in a video project on our local folder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head into my folder to my 77 responsive video, and in my source folder, I'm gonna say, maybe, video. And on a different screen, what I have is I've got a video called Blue Square. I'm gonna bring it over and drop it in video. It's a pretty amazing video. It looks like this. Pretty cool. Nothing frills, nothing fancy, but pretty much I just wanted to make sure I had a small video file to work with. This video is only 799K. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and add this to our project. What I'm gonna do is open up under Pages, under Index, and open with Visual Studio Code. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that container to make everything responsive. So at the top, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say import, not off-screen buffering, but import, and I'm gonna bring in both the container as well as some calls, actually I'll do row first, and then call, and this is gonna be all from React Bootstrap. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the text I do not need, so, Let's get rid of this. You know, let's get rid of that paragraph as well. And I'll cut the H1. So what I want is container. And I'll paste in the H1. Now what I should have is a pretty clean looking design from which to work. Hi people. And again, the container makes everything responsive because we are gonna make responsive videos. Now in the interest of this video, I'm gonna create both a locally hosted video and one from YouTube. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create a two column design. I'm gonna say row, and then call large six. This is 50%, and I'll do another column at 50%. Don't forget that the React Bootstrap columns are based on a 12 column system. So if I say large six and six, it equals 100%. Perfect, 50%, 50%. Let's bring in this video that we just brought over down below under video, under blue square. So I first have to import this video. So I'm gonna copy and paste the name. And from here I'll say import blue square video from video and blue square mp3. Now that I've import, hopefully it's working pretty good. Oh yeah, it's just telling me that these are not being used. So what I can do to clean up the warnings is I can go ahead and take out the image since I do not need it and we're not gonna put any links in for right now. So those two are gonna be gone minus the blue square video. So the great part about React Bootstrap is it comes with all the tools of the get slash vanilla bootstrap as well. And one of those tools that is inside of the get bootstrap is a responsive embed video part. So what I'm gonna do is, in my index, I'm gonna leverage a couple class names. For this top 50%, I'm gonna say just P, and I'll say strong, and I'm gonna put locally hosted video. Just so we're clear, that this side will contain the locally hosted video and this one's gonna be the YouTube side. Under the P, what I'm gonna type in is video. So I'm gonna say video and then add a class name and say embed 
responsive. Now what you also have to do is you have to declare the ratio as well. And if we head over to the embed page, what I'm looking for, a different screen, is the embed section in Get Bootstrap, which you can also use as part of React Bootstrap, ask for you to declare a certain size. Is it 21 by nine? Is it 16 by nine? Is it four by three? Or is it more of the Instagram one by one? Since I built my video, which I know is 1920 by 1080, I know I'm using a 16 by nine. So what I have to do is I have to use both the embed responsive and embed responsive 16 by nine to declare the size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say embed, res whoa. That's not what I want to do. There we go. Embed responsive and then embed responsive 16 by nine. And now what I can do is I'm also going to say controls. So I actually want to have some control over this video and inside the video, we're going to add a source. So I'm going to say source. And what I have to do is I have to add the other class called embed responsive item for it to now move in different sizes. So I'm going to say source class name embed responsive item and source is going to be that blue square video. There we go. And we also have to give it a type. So we're going to say type equals video MP4 and it's gonna self close and we're good to go. Now do note you will get a warning. In this case, I have do not have a closed caption file, but React says you must have this track. It will work, but in future videos, if I had a locally sourced video, I would have a closed captioning. I'm gonna hit save. Let's take a look. We can move get bootstrap out of the way. Cool, check it out. Locally hosted video. And so far it's moving. If I move my design, check it out. It becomes responsive. That's awesome. So we have the locally hosted video, but now let's bring in a YouTube video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the bottom and I'm gonna copy this and I'll bring 50% and this one I'm gonna say is a YouTube video. There we go. So for this part, we can't use the video tag, but I can still use a div and use the class names. So down below, I'm gonna say div class name and repeat the same process as above. Class name equals embed dash responsive and then embed responsive 16 by nine. And what we can do is then close it up so we have a div. Now inside of this div is where I wanna bring in my iframe from either YouTube, or I can also bring in a video from Vimeo as well. In this case, I do have a YouTube video. So let me come over here. I've got a previous video that I created, three ways to create a React Bootstrap navigation bar in Gatsby JS. And I'm down here, I'm gonna click on share and embed and grab this information. And if I just drop it in, it's not gonna work properly because we haven't actually fixed this line of code yet for both React Bootstrap slash Get Bootstrap and for Gatsby's sake. So if we just drop it in, it'll probably ask me now to add a title as well as a unique identifier, which I don't have yet in terms of the title property. So what I first have to do is add that class name, which is the item. So where I have this embed item, what I'm going to do is first take out the width and height since I've already set that with the 16 by nine and I'll say class name and I'll say embed responsive item since that corresponds directly with this parent embed responsive. We have the source frame border is fine. Autoplay is all good. And what I have to add is a title that says YouTube video. And again, we should be down to one warning, which of course I don't have that closed captioning for this project. So it's gonna warn me and say, you do need the track tag as well. So, so far so good. Let's take a look at our project. If we close that screen 
and move this guy a little back to full screen. Check it out. Our videos now become responsive based upon React Bootstrap and Get Bootstrap, both locally hosted and YouTube. If you want more videos helping you design more and troubleshoot less, check out the videos I have here and don't forget to subscribe. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. Thanks so much for watching and have a fantastic day.